in, in sooth, thou wast in very gracious fooling last night when thou spokest of pigrogrometus, of the uh, Vapians crossing the Equinocticus at Cuba. It was, uh, it was very good of faith. Yes, I, uh, I gave thee sixpence for thy leman. That's it. I did impetacost thy gratility, for Malvolio's nose is no whipstock, my lady has a white hand, and the Myrmidons are no bottle alehouses. <laughs> this is the very best fooling when all is done. He doesn't realise Feste's making fun of him. Feste's a fool, or a clown, whose job is to tell jokes and make people laugh. He's tricked Sir Andrew by telling him a load of old nonsense. They're all up late being rowdy, partying and drinking too much. On the 12th day of December. For the love of God, peace. My masters, are you mad or what are you? Have you no wit, manners, nor honesty, but to gabble like tinkers at this time of night? Do you make an alehouse of my lady's house that you squeak out your coziest catches without any mitigation or remorse of voice? Is there no respect of place, persons, nor time in you? We did keep time. Sir, in our catches, I'll snack up. Malvolio's arrived to spoil the fun. He's angry that the lords are being drunken and rowdy in his mistress Olivia's house. The party mad Sir Toby, Sir Andrew and Feste are confronted by the sober and serious Malvolio. Although Malvolio is just a servant and the others are lords, it doesn't stop him standing up to them. He threatens to kick Sir Toby out. How do you think they will react to this? Shall I bid him go? What and if you do? Shall I bid him go and swear not? No, 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 you dare not. <laughs> out of time, sir. He lie. Art any more than a steward, does thou think? Because thou art virtuous, there shall be no more cakes than ale. Yes, by St Anne. <sighs> and ginger shall be hot in the mouth too. Sir so Toby's using cakes and ale as a metaphor to describe his enjoyment and celebration, which Malvolio's trying to spoil. You know, he's mocking Malvolio for being too serious and trying to ruin the fun. You know, he's cross that Malvolio thinks he's better than anyone. What will thou do? I will drop in his way some obscure epistles of love, wherein by the colour of his beard, the shape of his leg, the manner of his gait, the expression of his eye, forehead and complexion, he shall find himself most feelingly personated. Maria's plotting to trick Malvolio. She is going to write a letter in Olivia's handwriting and trick Malvolio into thinking Olivia is in love with him. Excellent. I smell a device. I have it in my nose too. He shall think by the letters that thou wilt drop that they come from my niece and that she's in love with him. <laughs> my purpose is indeed a horse of that colour. Uh, and your horse will now make him an ass. Ass, I doubt not. It will be admirable. <laughs> Sport royal, I warrant you. I know my physic will work with him. She's persuading the others to help her with her plan. Maria doesn't like Malvolio because he thinks he's better than everyone else. But do you think Malvolio really deserves this treatment? I will plant you two and let the fool make a third where he shall find the letter. Observe his construction of it. For this night to bed and dream on the event. 